Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you are new, please smash that like button and do subscribe if you enjoy the readings. I'm here every Sunday through Thursday, 10.30 p.m. Eastern. Um, keep in mind, some of the messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. Okay, Virgos, and if you want to get a personal reading with me or Brandy, there is a link in the description box below. Just click that link and go ahead and book your reading. All right, Virgos, let's get into this reading. What are the messages for June? What is the drama, the llama, drama, llama for you? Okay, heart with a key, welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together, and a sense of perfection. And that, I'm sure that rides right down your alley, Virgo, having that perfect love. Let me see. Okay, you've got talking, Virgo, interested, conversing more, a, an awaited message arrives, text, call, email. Okay, and who? Oh, soulmates. Oh, I can already tell you right now where this reading is going, Virgo. I can already tell you. Okay, soul connection, partnership agreement, soul contract. So, wow. Looks like we've got some new love for June for Virgo. Holla. Let's see. What's the romance angels? Okay. So, yeah, you're meeting someone, and this is your person. This person, like, you know, they have the key to unlock your heart. So there's going to be some communication, uh, either some texting back and forth, some phone calls, some emails. Um, a, a message comes in that you've been waiting to hear from someone. Let me see. And this is like your soulmate. Nice. Okay. Someone's making the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps guided to take. Somebody's coming in and making the effort here with you, Virgo, in June. In June. June is the month of love. June should be the month dedicated to love. I think February is, but June should be. Okay. We just got through that full moon in Sagittarius. A lot of... Um, setting new intentions it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all yeah so definitely some new energy coming forward in june since this full moon the next full moon will be july 3rd and oh mg okay so for some of you this is a past life a past relationship for others this is like I don't do I know you this is somebody new and it's like have we met before like soul to soul recognition okay so let's get into this reading who is this person coming in for Virgo what is the energy what is showing oh well these three just flipped out okay so Queen of Cups Cancer Scorpio Pisces um, Okay, this person sits in a position of single, independent, don't need no woman, don't need no man. Okay, but you know what? That's a protective kind of thing. This, whoever this person is, Queen of Cups, male or female energy, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, they show up like, oh, single lady, so single lady. They're just like, you know, I don't, I'm fine. I'm on my own. I don't need anybody. I'll stay by myself. I'm fine. They kind of have that vibe about them, okay? But it's really because they're just trying to protect their heart. So this is somebody who, I uh, just kind of feel like they've had a heartbreak in the past or there's been some pain in the past, you know. Um, but they're, I mean, they're definitely like on their own. Like this is somebody who is single as a bringle for sure, okay? Showing up here. Now let's see. What else can you tell Virgo about this connection with this person? Let me see. Um, now, you, if it's a past person, you um, they're coming back for some of you. If there's been separation and they're coming back, like, you know, their heart's pretty hurt. Like they got some, or maybe there was an argument or you guys are just not talking. I mean, I don't see this person with anyone else. I mean, that doesn't mean they're not talking to other people, but there's no one else significant. Like they're the, it's just them. Okay. So I feel like I need to put that out there. Let me see what else is going on here. Okay. Wow. Um, yeah, this person's really like guarding their heart. They're just... Okay. Oh my gosh. 
they're very defensive. This person is like struggling. Um, fighting to get out of this poverty mindset. I'm going to Virgo. This person, if it's not a poverty mindset, I mean, it's just an energy of someone who's like completely broke. They don't have a job or they don't have enough money. You know, five or this is just an uncertainty in uh, or they've had some changes in their career or their um, their work life. Things are they're trying to hold on to their job. Yeah, there's a lot of struggle here. OK, let me see. What else is going on with this person? Hmm. Okay. All right. Wow. Okay. So I will tell you what. They do show up here with these two cards here combined. The Four of Cups and the Nine of Cups. This person is very picky. Very, very picky. Love comes in and they're just like, mm, nah. And then somebody else comes in, mm, nah. I mean, this person's holding out for like their dream, ultimate dream. And I feel like that's you. <laughs> now, maybe you know them, maybe you don't. I don't know. But this is the wish card. Like, I feel like this person is kind of like wishing on a star. They're wishing and they're hoping. Um, they want joy and happiness. But, you know, after the nine comes the ten. And I feel like this person gets offers um they get a lot of love offers okay and there's a lot of people that offer love to them that they these other people are like oh i want to marry you oh i want you to be like my plus one forever and ever and ever and they turn people away because they're very picky like no one it feels like this person's kind of in this energy of like you know no one's really up to par so yeah just very picky and very selective but i feel like you know I mean, I feel like you make a connection with someone here and it's like you both are like, wow, okay, like the pickiness is gone because I feel like you might be picky too, Virgo. You you might be a little bit like, mm, now this person wears their socks way too high up on to their knees. Nah, next. Um, no, this person only makes five figures. I need them to make six figures. I mean, come on now, Virgo. You're not that picky, are you? Uh, you know, it's kind of like, oh, this person, they don't dust their light bulbs like me. I need someone that's like going to be all up in dusting the light bulbs. Like that's a big thing. <laughs> Virgo, so you might be like a little picky too. That's all right. You know what? Picky, selective. You should be to some degree. I mean, you know, I mean, that's why perfect came up. <laughs> And I feel like there's this, oh, you're perfect for me. Oh, you're perfect for me too. That, you know, I feel like I'm in fifth grade. What the hell's going on? But yeah, I feel like that's the energy that's playing out. Like two people connect and it's like, you know, you're perfect for me. You, And if it's a past person, you've always been perfect for me. And you both kind of feel that way. You know. Um, but anyway, for the past people who are um, wanting a past person back. And when I say past I'm not, oh, listen, when I say the past person, it just means someone from now till like the day you're born. It could be anywhere in between there. I, I may not be talking about that last person that you just ended that relationship with and you don't want back for those of you who are in that situation. You know, this could be somebody from before them or long before them. Okay. Um, all right. Let's see what else is going on here with this energy with this person. Because there's this like, I don't know meeting the meeting the one perfection I feel like this is really good I feel like this is really good and if there's separation there is like somebody who's gonna reach out to you um, the awaited message you're gonna get some kind of communication from this person and the reason this person is even um, messaging you for some of you it could be a response to something but the reason that this person is reaching out is because you are the perfect one for them okay let me see how does this person feel about virgo for the pasties 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 how does the past person feel about virgo for those who are kind of like hmm oh yeah two of cups this is like eternal love met my match 
perfect for each other. That's the energy of the past. Okay, so again, not that person that you and they, like not the person that was cheating, not the person that was abusive, not talking to you. That's done. Be done with that if you're not done with that. Okay, I'm talking about this other one. Okay, so two cups. Definitely, this is like magic. This is like romantic love, partnership. This is mutuality, two people who understand each other. This is like giving and taking. Look at how they mirror each other. It's almost in the shape of the letter H. I don't know, I've never seen that before. <laughs> Maybe somebody's a physician or is in like the heat. Didn't we have this card yesterday? I don't know what's going on. But yeah, there's like this, somebody's got some fancy red shoes. Let me just say there's an there's like look at you two like if you stood in front of the mirror right it's like you're both matching each other's energy you know like you've met yourself they've met themselves in you okay so what's going on okay i was just gonna ask this new person okay so this new person was gonna take a while to come in <laughs> i'm gonna say that like they're slow i know some of you are like where the hell's my lover and I know some of you are like, you know, your, your prince or princess charming is stuck up somewhere in a tree. That's why it's taken them so long. They're trying to get down from that tree. Okay. This person, um, picky, selective, and a little shy. Just a little to approach. They go real slow. They have a lot of anxiety. They keep to themselves. Very much an introvert. And they kind of keep to themselves. And they, like, they have nightmares like, oh, what do I say? Or how do I reach out? Or, you know, should I ask that? Should I? Uh, if, if you're a female, the question like, should I ask? If someone's a female and you're a male, the female's like, should I ask? Should I approach first? Should I initiate? Should I ask out? I mean, it's going to happen. You know, like I said, there's going to be some kind of like text and it feels or communication like like that and it kind of that's uh, a little bit of a way to hide like people hide behind text I always feel instead of this is not someone that's just gonna you know jump up on the soapbox get grab a mic and be like calling out your name and being like I want to date you you're the one let's go like the very private a very private person okay um, could be a Pisces as well I could just see some of you now no no not the Pisces uh, yeah, well, Pisces definitely has a thing, okay, or will have a thing. Um, let me see if I could see maybe who the past person is, because I feel like we got a couple of separate readings here, and I guess I got to address them both now because Spirit's calling out, okay? So, past person could be a Scorpio. Death card there is a Scorpio card. Let's see if we can see any more info on who the new person is besides being a Pisces. I do feel some water energy. Let's see. I swear, if I come up with a, a shy a shy lion, a shy Leo, I'll just like, what the heck? That's like, doesn't even go together. I guess there's Leos out there that could be shy though. Okay. Well, this past person, like, they're so insecure. Yeah, they got a little bit of that. Mm. I don't know, Virgo. Some of y'all, I just feel <laughs> I don't know some of you are like I am not dealing with someone who is like so picky and selective and super shy and doesn't know what they want and can't take the lead listen I can't I can't pick and choose for you I'm just giving you the message this is like someone who's coming forward okay a little more of the past okay it could be an Aquarius yeah so I'm not the past the future the new a uh, little bit of an Aquarius there very hopeful oh I hope that Virgo will accept my love offer accept to go out on a date like Jews a little skittish this person a little bit skittish okay that's all right you know everybody's got their thing let's see what the messages of love are here now for some of you listen as I always say this could be happening both simultaneously, right? This could be happening simultaneously, you know? So you meet somebody new and they're like, oh my God, you're my soulmate. You know, there's that energy plays out and then you got a past person that reaches out to you and they're like, oh my God, this is my soulmate. This is, you know, whatever. We're going to overcome some obstacles, whatever problems, you know, um, let's talk, that kind of energy. All right, messages of love for the past and the new okay vulnerability so this person wants to open up to you to be completely open with you this past person 
Um, they want, they're they're going to try to be vulnerable um, with them, you know, open up, tell you how they feel, um, let you in on their little secrets, their little things that maybe there wasn't any sharing about from before, okay? Yeah, I mean, I definitely feel like this person wants to talk and they're going to, like, either say more things to you, open up more, or just, you know, in general, open up, um... Okay, but they're taking, yeah, so they're going to wait. Like, I do feel like there will be some communication from a past person. I do. Um, it, it's going to be a little bit before they reach out. I mean, I do feel like in June, so for some of you, you've been waiting for a really long time. For others, um, you haven't been waiting, and then boom, they just show up. But there is an energy of, like, they're waiting for the right time to open up. Not so much to reach out and say hello, but waiting for the right time to be vulnerable and to open up and to because they're waiting to see if it's safe for them to do that so that you're not going to claw them to death about something um if there's something to claw someone to death about <laughs> all right let me take a look at this new person oh my god get out soulmate for the new you know what virgo you do what you gotta do okay it's just because someone comes in I just want to say that. I know some of you um, want to try to heal and repair a past thing. That's fine. Do what you got to do. Just because somebody new comes in, it doesn't mean that you have to do anything. You you might just say, oh, yeah, there's like soulmate number 12. Um, you might compare. Some of you might be like, you know, I don't think this past thing's going to work, but here's I do have somebody else waiting in, in the wings. So let me see where that goes. And some of you might just say, ah, you know, there's somebody new coming in here, but you know, my past person's coming back and wanting a second chance and I'm going to try to see if I can fix that with them. So you got like a couple, you know, different energies playing out here in June. It could both be happening, you know, it could, it could be simultaneous, both it's happening or um, for others, it's just one or the other, but it's really not. It's pretty much both. Okay. Um, there's a true love thing with somebody new that could turn into a true love scenario Virgo, 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 Virgo. So he's so much drama. Really? Because we're living in a material world. Let's see. Virgo's a true material girl. At least by the zodiac standards. I know some of you, material doesn't mean like gold and riches and diamonds and money. Material can also represent your earth, your earth people. Future plans and choosing a path. Okay, so the past person you know, is choosing the path to go forward with you, okay, and also to make future plans for the two of you together, and I'm just going to start doing readings with, like, the, the the old and the new. That way, I, you know, pretty much cover everybody. I think I'll just start taking a look at that for you guys going forward. Do it tomorrow, too. See how it turns out, and... Let's see. I hope you guys do like this music. I think I had it too loud yesterday. I'm just trying to make it more upbeat. Just so we have like more life's tough as it is. Let's let's be happy. Let's be positive. Okay. Huh. So the new person. Okay. Anger, no in situation. I don't know how I feel about this new person, honestly. Like, I feel like they have issues. Yeah, I feel like this new person has like some, I don't know if there's codependency, they have like secrets, they have a difficult time connecting, you know, they're hopeful, but they go real slow and yeah, I, I, I don't know. I feel like on a scale of one to 10, this new person might be somewhere near like a three or a four. It, your past person looks a bit more promising as far like I would give them like maybe an eight and a half to a possibly a nine maybe eight and three quarters looks a little more promising but and I don't know about this new you know we can have soulmates we can have hundreds of soulmates I mean my dog is my soulmate like and I'm not trying to marry him but it's just that sometimes just because we have a soulmate connection doesn't mean it's meant to be romantic or not sometimes soulmates can just be great friends you know sometimes we have like that work family you know, these are our, like our work husband, our work wife, you know, just the term. We're soulmates, but there's, you know, there's nothing else. It's not going any further than that. You know what I mean? And I kind of feel like this new person that you connect with, 
yeah i mean i feel like you're okay virgo i just don't i see them maybe it's a taurus i just kind of i don't know could be aquarius like i said or a pisces could even be a cancer i just get a sense that they're kind of like oh you're not gonna go out with me and get really like piratey angry that kind of thing you know um okay yeah that's a message huh that's a message i want to just pop in a couple extra things here let me just get a little extra information for these two different people here coming in you know you're gonna get a message too from somebody new you know what i mean so oh i'm gonna go have ice cream <laughs> okay past person showing up as a twin flame obviously this new one is showing up as a soulmate so i don't know virgo that twin flame connection that makes it kind of hard to let go I'm, I am not talking about your false twin flame. I have to say this every time. If you were in a relationship with someone who you thought was your twin flame, but they were beating you over the head with a baseball bat, or they were spouting out nastiness in their words, or dismissing you all the time, or making you feel worse when you walked away than how you felt when you got in their presence. That's not your soulmate. That's just an a-hole that's not your twin flame that's just an a-hole and that's not someone like unless they get some counseling or therapy or something uh no bye-bye keep it moving okay so twin flame positive energy some of you could have been married to your twin flame when you were like 20 and something you know i don't know something happened you guys went into separation all right so the new person is you know what they're part of your family maybe it's your work wife or your work husband that's like you know what I'm, I'm actually like really in love with you um or they're connected to your soul family or your actual family or some groups that you have been communicating with them before or you don't know them directly you know um they could just be someone who you're connected to through some kind of family or of origin or something like that and they reveal a little bit <laughs> you know like Oh, you know i've really liked you for a long time and then so all of a sudden an option pops up virgo's like wait what i'm trying to heal i'm not trying to some of you i know you are like i'm not trying to get in another relationship but this person wants a family they want to have like kids and like do the whole nine yards and i know if you're up there in age with me y'all are like mm -mm. those times are gone that's over did been there done that um so for some of you um if you're up and I'm talking about those of you who are older and female, and that time has passed, okay? They just want to like meet your family, be a part of the family. If you have kids, be a part of your family. That kind of energy, in, bring you into theirs. That's that new person. <clears throat> and I feel like this past person, though, they're like, they don't even have that energy. They're just as like, oh, you know, you're my person. Now for some of you, I have to give you a caveat. Because I just noticed on this twin flame card it does say karmic so for some of you yeah I know watch your watch your P's and Q's with that because it is possible like listen I don't give a F what the karmic twin flame is feeling thinking or anything if they have been a real a-hole to you and then maybe forced you to be an a-hole back. Like, I don't care. Um, listen, sometimes we all say the wrong thing, right? Hopefully people will forgive us for, you know, saying the wrong thing or doing the wrong thing, you know? But there is no, like, there's no... Anyone that tries to destroy your soul or just destroy your spirit period just spirit whether they're physically destroying it financially destroying it verbally destroying it mentally and emotionally trying to destroy your spirit there should never be and this is just my opinion and i'm pretty sure most of you agree with there should never be a reconciliation with that type of mf -er. ever 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 okay because that person is broken if anything they need to reconcile themselves to the police so they need to reconcile themselves to a psychiatric unit point blank period right that's how i feel if you if you felt like a car a twin flame 
in your past was, you know, doing all that, well, they might have been karmic. But mostly, for some of you, that's not this person, okay? So I feel like I just said that twice. You know, it's whatever. Let's see the physical features. This reading's not going to be super, super long, you guys. I know you like the really long readings, but um, yeah, not happening tonight. Okay, so the past person is tall. Tall, tall, tall. If your past person was not tall, if they were very short, they were, might have been a karmic. Okay, so your past twin flame. Anything that doesn't show up here would have been a karmic. And then, you know, I don't know, maybe you might kind of talk to the new person. Let's see, what else? Past person, okay, they were tall and they had short hair. Okay, they're tall, past person tall with short hair, possibly even bald, short to bald hair. Okay, so when I say tall, it's just taller than you. Doesn't, they don't have to be like, you know, basketball player tall, just taller than you, okay? That's what that means. Anything else? Okay, and they had green eyes, okay? Or light colored eyes, we'll go with light. Green is a rarity, green or blue, okay? And then this new person, okay, a little thick. This person a little thick, looks like they work out. Um, nice booty, okay, average weight. Let's see what else. Curly hair, okay, could be long, could be short. Let's see what else. Okay, curly medium length hair. You know all the hairs keep showing up here. Okay, they have piercings and they straighten their hair. All right, if that's a guy, like, I don't know. I never met a guy that straightened their hair. I mean, maybe. Just because I haven't met him doesn't mean you know, that they don't exist. If it's a guy, they could have um, curly hair and they straighten it sometimes and they have piercings. Okay, whatever. Take those features with a grain of salt. Stick to the main message though. I just wanted to throw that out there. It's kind of a little qualifier for some of you who are just like, okay, yeah, that just means even more. Um, all right, let me see what the Chinese signs are here for you and this person. Um, actually, no, I'm just gonna pick out yours. I'm just gonna show you yours. A little qualifier for you. Also, the other thing, let me just say, um, these features could also be you, okay? So if you identify with any of these features, there you go. You you take whatever what fits for you, okay? That's how that's usually how these readings go. They're not specific. Remember that. They might feel specific sometimes, but that's just because it's fitting you. I'm not being specific. I couldn't because I don't really know who I'm talking to. Let me see here. All right. So Virgo rat, Virgo dragon, rat again, Virgo snake, Virgo rooster, Virgo pig, monkey, Virgo goat, dragon again, and a Virgo tiger. All right, now if it, that's not you, it's okay. Doesn't mean the message isn't for you. All right, let's add a couple of names and other randoms to see what else we can get here for you, Virgo. I'm like, oh, this reading's not gonna go long. It's already on 30 something minutes. To me, that's short, right? That's short, okay. All right, somebody's a drummer, immediately. Immediately, that just came to me. Somebody's a drummer, um, and might I add, a rather successful drummer. Could be you, could be another person, right? Definitely a drummer. Let's see. They're also giving me a Capricorn, too. Let's see. Somebody's name is... Okay. At first they gave me Joe, then they said Jolene, and then they said Eileen. So it's one of those, okay. All right. Okay, hold on. Wow, I'm not getting anything. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Um, someone's, all right, so the door, someone's door of their house has a half arch window at the top, half moon window at the top, door on their door somewhere. 
Okay. Um, and someone keeps a lot of like books in their room. A lot. Like in the room or in their office. Uh, someone's a book collector or just keeps books. Like, like, dude, you read that book already like three times. Take it out to the yard sale, my friend. Or put it in that little uh, share a book box. You know, don't eat it. You're done with the book. It's time to move on. Let go of the books. I'm just hearing that. Maybe you've been saying that to yourself. Some of you might be looking at those books and be like, you know, why do I keep saving these damn things? I mean, it's not like I'm going to read it again. Now, some of you might have reference books. Some of you might have self-help books. Maybe you have astrology books. Yeah, that's fine. Some of them are keepsakes, okay? You might be in a library right now listening to this, drinking your coffee or in your coffee place or something like that. I'm just seeing a lot of books. You might be studying. Maybe your kids have a ton of books. There's just a lot of books. Um, maybe you're a librarian or you work in a school. There's just a lot of, I'm just seeing, I don't know, books. I've got the letter P as well showing up here. And also they're giving me September 10th. Okay. And September 2nd. And um, Arizona. They're telling me Arizona. Okay. Um, hmm. September 14th. Yes. And someone is connected or dating and there's a connection with a Libra also. Connection with a Libra. Okay. And I also see someone surfing. Like... I don't know. That's a Batman theme song. What the hell is a surfer song? I don't know. Um, yeah, a surfer or someone maybe lives near a place. The name of the place is Surf. Surf something. Maybe there's a restaurant like a surf. I don't know. Surf and turf. Seafood, water, beach, surf. That's what I'm picking up. Or you're at, maybe you're at the beach. Going in the beach. Going in the surf. Surfboarding. Surf. What do you do with surfs? Surf. Boogie boarding. I don't know. Surfing. Water skiing. Yeah, on the water. On a craft. Doing something. Okay. Maybe that's a plan. Um, we have the letter C. And somebody's going to England. Holla. You know what? That you know what? That just reminded me. But I don't know. Sometimes, like, I'm supposed to go to England. I, I, I think I'm going to England in September. Yes, yes, yes. My invite is coming. It's on the way in the mail. And I have been to Wales and I have been to Ireland, but I have not been to the UK. And you know, the first thing I want to see is Buckingham Palace. That's like the goal. But yeah. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, maybe I'll like do live stream tarot readings from England. That would be so cool. And if anybody is there, uh, maybe we can have a meetup. I'll be traveling a little bit around the area, provided that, you know, we're not in a nuclear war or anything like that. You know, you know what I'm saying? All right, let me see. Okay. You crack me up. You cracking me up. I just heard somebody say that. I'm not, not talking about me. I just heard somebody use the phrase, you crack me up. Who says that? Does anybody say crack me up? You're cracking me up. I feel like that's a phrase that somebody uses like often. Like some people say, oh, you're so funny. Or, hey, you're hilarious. Or LOL. No, somebody says, you crack me up. If you know, like maybe you say that to somebody or somebody says that to you, but that's, that's a phrase. That's an old phrase that gets, that, that's used. I don't know that people say that anymore. That's like a real, I don't know, we used to say it in the 80s. Like, you're so grody. Oh my God, you're cracking me up. <laughs> Do you remember that term? Grody. You are grody. Okay. I don't know. I'm, I'm losing it. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Let's get some numbers. Also, for some of you, um, I'm, I'm hearing September 3rd as well. Okay, so Leo. Hi, listen, I said Leo, right? I said a shy Leo. 
I guess they exist. I don't know. I've never met one, but I'm picking up a shy. Somebody might be like a Leo who's kind of shy. Um, Leo, double Taurus, and Aries. And I did say Taurus. Okay. So, birth years, 1975. 1960. Uh, 1972, 1962, um, 1995, and 1956. Okay? 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 Let's see. I need a little dice cup. I really, like, you know those little dice cup? All right, 1212 keeps showing up here. So December 12th, significant day. Somebody's connected to a December 12th person. Um, November 20th, significant day. And let's see, April 20th. Oh, that's 420, so whatever. We also have um, January 10th. And if I call a birthday of someone that you know, hey, that's definitely your message. I'm also picking up August 24th. Okay. Let me see what the February, um, not February. Well, do you know someone who's born in February? Let's see what the um, Virgo birth dates are. Okay. August 27th. I also have August 22nd, but you could have been born at like 12 a.m when it went from the 22nd to the 23rd, okay? So you're like seriously right on the cusp, okay? August 23rd also, and um, September 8th, and um, hmm, September 6th, real strong, September 6th energy, okay? Let me just get some last four digit numbers. All right. So we've got seven two seven five one one two one. I'm making this easy for Steve. Whoa. And why can't I touch stuff? And where'd it go? It was a six zero. Okay. Six thousand. Six zero 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 and also six zero zero four. Now you can switch those around however you like, you know, whatever you want to do. You do you boo. Alright, let's get a Let's see a couple of more zodiac signs. What shows up? Aquarius, Scorpio twice, and Pisces. And one more. Okay, Capricorn twice, Cancer, and Sag. Okay. If I didn't call uh, the sign of someone that you're trying to connect with or whatever, it's fine. It doesn't mean this is not your reading, you know, just go with the bulk of the message. All right, let's get a charm. Huh, that's strange. So you have a black shamrock or four leaf clover, I should say. Oh, somebody's getting lucky. I don't know. I've never seen a black four leaf clover. Look at all those hearts. Wow. A lot of love here. Um, this is okay. I, I just keep like, you're going to be very lucky. I mean, play the lotto. That's all I can tell you. Just do some scratch offs, you know, uh, fork out a dollar every day. That's 30 bucks, whatever. Do something. Cause this is a lucky month for you. Virgo for sure. Like, I mean, for sure. You're going to have like the pick of the litter here. <gasps> Are you kidding? You guys, did you hear me? I was over there reaching when I was talking, um, to get another charm. I'm not even kidding. If you could see my charms, one day I'll show you. They sit here in a little container and there's like thousands of them. Look. That's the second one. I just pulled that without even looking. I mean, okay, there could be a connection to Ireland for sure in June. But you know what? I'm not kidding. Maybe there's an interracial um, relationship. You and someone interracial and you're both going to get lucky. You know, you're going to both be like, hmm. Kissy, kissy, hugs, hugs. Something going on there, you know? No, no mean, no mean. Yeah, so, I mean, you can't, like, I can't make this up. This is the yin yang. Um, two people meant for each other, but which one? That's the question, Virgo. Which one? The sorry ass 
<laughs> person who's like, mm -hmm. they're a little simpy. And the new person is a little simpy. That's all I got to say. Just whatever. It's not, I'm not trying to be mean. But yeah, simp? No, I don't know about that. Okay, so yeah, th those, those are your charms. Getting lucky. Definitely, this is a lucky time for you. I don't care what you do. Everything you touch turned to gold. So start reaching out and touching things. Just, you know, I'm leaving it there. That's enough. Let's, can we keep it PG here, please, people? You know, like what's going on? Let's keep it PG now. Okay. Anyway, personal reading. Link is in the description box below this video, right down there. If you want to get a reading with me, click on that link, take you over to my booking site, book your reading, boom, you're done. And uh, join me on Sundays, become a member of my channel, and you can pop in on the Sunday live stream at 1 p.m. Eastern, and you can like just pop in that chat and be like, hey, can you tell me like what's going on with my person, and I'll pull some cards for you. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll see you all back here tomorrow. Have a fantastic day, night, morning, lunch, whichever. Make good choices, be happy, and I'll catch you all later. Bye.